Um, you just have to get yourself a drill that you choose. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to drills. This belongs to one of your members. Inside here, if you choose to use a dust mask to protect your lungs from the glass dust, you have dust masks in here. <clears throat> if you don't already have them on, there's a pair of eye protection in the kit. And feel free to add more. What some people have done is they've gone and bought five more pairs, put them in there. So there's no excuse for an eye injury when you're cutting around glass. Okay, so there's at least one pair in there. There's instructions in the little side pouch. The device itself is called the glass knife by Junkyard Dog Industries. It's very similar to a nibbler tool. However, we have changed the tolerances on the blades and made them harden. We've changed the eccentric inside to give you the cut that you need on a windshield glass. And we've also changed the stroke of the blade so that you're not going to get hurt by it. It goes on just like a drill. And you can see out here that even though the blade goes back and forth, it's not in a position to cut you. Unless you really work again your finger down in there and then you're on your own, buddy. Don't get your finger down in there, but if you happen to have it up against your body or something else, it's not going to gobble them up. Can you just hold that up for a minute? Okay, thanks. And it doesn't matter if forwards or backwards, it will cut both directions. The problem with backwards is you can have your hand on here and take the device right off. So we have a hex drive on the back. So if you can find a drill with a hex drive, it will lock on there and then you don't have to worry about ever having it accidentally come undone. <clears throat> so see if you can find a hex driver or a, a drill, either one. When you're using it on the windshield glass, you don't want to just let it fly, right? You want to have a hand on it. We already talked about the fact that your hand's not in danger. So you can guide it with the hand this way or guide it this way. You want to keep that plate flat on the glass because it'll pulverize the glass into a dust rather than into shards. So keep that as flat as possible. Run it across there as flat as possible. Make your turns by turning the drill and turning with your hand. So you can come down here, you can make a turn, go that way, you can change the position of the drill this way. You can go left-handed if you want, right-handed. There's another similar device out there, but it's in a fixed position to one side. We feel ours is a lot better because you can use your right hand, you can use your left hand, you can go upside down, and as you're turning, you can rotate the tool into more comfortable ergonomic positions. But don't let it go like that. Don't start doing this kind of stuff, because if it comes out of the glass, it's going to spin around like that. One of our concerns was the dust in the glass. We experimented with a lot of things, <coughs> and finally we got this very high-tech spray. You can buy it anywhere. It's called Invisible Glass Cleaner. And the reason we go with Invisible Glass Cleaner is because you press a button and it keeps the stream going. Can you imagine a Windex? <laughs> you never keep up with it. So, you couldn't do that again. It's New Year's. That's a special <laughs> cap. Did you get that on video? Ah, probably did. I didn't get the cap. He doesn't miss a thing. Well, hurry up. I got one minute left. <laughs> so, if you're by yourself, you run a bead of soapy water across there. And then you run the drill or the cutter through there and it'll capture a lot of the glass dust. But what really works a lot better is to have somebody spray while you're drilling because that will keep the most amount of soap and water on that dust. Here you can see it starts to dry out pretty quick. So if somebody is operating the device, somebody else can be spraying right down through the middle of the device. As he goes along, you'll control almost all the dust on the outside. On the inside, you still want to cover the patient because we can't control the glass underneath. So keep in mind that that's there. 
For tonight, we're going to make a starting hole with a, with a metal device. We include in here a little pry bar. And the pry bar we found is, is made by Evo. And the reason it's this shape is because when you make the hole, you make the hole, but make sure the shank is over a post. If we're out here doing this, there's a chance we'll go through, the device goes through the glass, and goes in and strikes somebody on the inside. So we're going to make a start hole with this device. And you can see how if I make it, if I penetrate the handle or the shank hits the post, we don't lose the device. Years ago as a firefighter, I was making a ventilation hole over the peak of the roof and I was using an axe and I hit my knuckles and the axe just came right out of my hand, slid down the roof, and I don't know. Thank God it didn't hit anything. So you got enough room here to strike. Have the shank against some part if you're coming down from this direction, if you're coming from here. But don't come out here in the middle and whack away. So that's inside there. This part of the pry bar can be used to expose and look for live airbags. And one of the things that are a big change in auto extrication last 10 years is when you're cutting above the door handles, you're cut pulling down the headliners with pry bars. So make sure that you're not cutting into a live explosive airbag. <clears throat> The airbags will be along the roof edge or down into the seat post. And on spray utility vehicles, they'll be across the top here or down inside the D post. So as soon as you manage all your glass, you go back and you start trying open and looking under there so that we don't end up setting off an airbag inside the car. <clears throat> so that has double duty. Try not to be the first person on the glass knife that takes the whole windshield out and then there's nothing for anybody else to do. So take some turns, take some, you know, make some cuts just so you get a feel for the device. Eventually we'll have the windshield out, but everybody should have a chance to try the device. One hand on the device, one hand on the drill. Find the most comfortable position. Get a start hole. Pretty self-explanatory after that. And if you're not comfortable, get in a better comfortable position. Okay. Want me to go right? Sure. Are you zoomed in? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Gladys Knife by Junkyard Dog Industries.